The following presentation may contain language unsuitable for elderly grandparents, household pets, and nuns. Unnamed drag productions accepts no responsibility for any resulting homosexuality, teenage pregnancy, or chemical dependency that may transpire as a result of listening to this garbage fountain. You have been warned. Enjoy! <laughs> Unnamed Drag Podcast! <laughs> Welcome back! Hi everyone! How are Hi. you? Oh, have you had a good month? Has it been terribly sad without us in your ears? Oh, no. oh. I've missed me too, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you when I fired at you with a BB gun. You're quite fast, <laughs> aren't you, for a fat bitch? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, the last hit you had was that family in the park taking a picnic while you were taking a driving lesson. Nightmare. What when I took he- here? What when I took heroin with them? <laughs> Wee! No, well, Johnny never me. That's so Nana's crack pipe. Anyway, <laughs> I'm very well today, thank you. I don't know why, because it's been oh. um, a stressful makeup morning today. I'm going to tell really? you. I'm going to tell you all about it if I can. Tell me about your journey. I had this wonderful vision of looking like every day is Halloween if you believe it in your heart. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell Joe Black his fortune and then appear on the front cover of Art Pop. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh, like, yeah. All of that at once. And what I ended up with was kind of like, I look like a pumpkin gave me a shiner and then I died and my lips went purple. But then when I put okay. the lashes and the outfit on, I was like, oh. oh. Yeah, oh. Man, you're looking cool. Oh. But yeah, there, there was very much, because I, I haven't cut a crease or like put very much white, like yeah. the harsh white or like anything like that. It's literally like, I used a blusher brush to do my eyeshadow because Wonderful. it just, it wasn't going on enough. So I was just, I got so frustrated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like poking myself in the eye with pigment, just like get more <laughs> orange. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah. It puts, the, it puts the eyeshadow on its skin or mm. else it gets the mineralized foundation from MAC. Well, I, I'm not going to blow up what brand it was because that seems unkind. But what I will say is that this palette that I've been really enjoying using, mm-hmm. this is the first time that it's ever let me down when I discovered that the orange shadow makes a great blush, but it's not a good eyeshadow. Oh, so, okay. That's mm. a shame. But um, I am enjoying the look though. I'm wearing, yeah. I'm wearing a sexy net curtain. Uh-huh. So I feel very like, um, net, net, sexy net. I feel very much like I net just want to like s- spin round at the carnival and then like stop really fast and curse you. Um, oh. And today was a day to wear a rough. Uh, yeah, say something rough day. Yeah, mm. exactly. Oh, and uh, yeah. this necklace, which I've been living for recently. Um, She's really cool. It's just a big ass fucking triangle. And you know yeah. I love a triangle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My asshole shaped like one. I don't know why. <laughs> It's like I'm trying to fit a square peg. No, it's like that's why when every single guy that tops me is just like it's like playing the triangle, just like ding a ling ling, just rattling around, (laughs) rattling around inside it. There's triangle shape, but it's also massive. (laughs) Exactly. So you know, you know the end of Crystal Maze where we're trying to catch the money. Yeah, I just call it my percussion section. Do you want to play my kettle drums? Anyway, enough about me. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I don't know if you can tell, but I had a really good makeup day today. You're having such although a good the sun day, is though. like too much, and I don't have blinds, so you can't really tell. But hey, um, I just want you to trust me that my makeup looks great. Everyone just needs to pop over onto Instagram and see that your pussy is like whap 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 today. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely glorious. Yeah, I'm but snatched. That- I'm Gorgina, got mm-hmm. my tits on. I'm wearing I'm wearing all clothes that I've made. Well, we were having this conversation before we came on camera. What no. I'm really enjoying about the makeup today is like, because you're so warm, your breasts mm-hmm. are like the most blended I think I've ever seen them look. Yeah. And you, and you haven't powdered or like foundation your I haven't adjusted the shade anything. of these tits at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I know that they're probably a bit too much one colour compared to like this <laughs> carnival of fun where's the mottle where's the spackle where's yeah, the yeah, texture yeah. where's the little tattoo that says twat yeah. <laughs> exactly like you need to give us some realness where's the pox marks where's the scarring yeah. where's the blood stains <laughs> yeah where's the, where's barricus- the scratches from the where's the barricus vein around my nipple wait yeah. sorry i'm just revealing too much about myself now is it cold in here is it just my nipples <laughs> yeah very that energy but um yeah so i'm wearing my um fun pointy jack basically i look like a vampire who's also the editor of a magazine yeah exactly yeah. I love I'm, not, that point. I'm wearing green eyeshadow but it's reading blue 
I've also just realized that I think I look like your grandma who used to run the magazine, but yeah. <laughs> we... now we keep you in the attic. Exactly. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just reading tarot cards and trying to take back yeah. my empire. And uh-huh. like, Wait, three tower cards? It's only supposed to have one. <laughs> <laughs> this deck is ruined. It's yeah. just 52 pages of the 10 of swords. <laughs> Over and over again. Just fucked it. And, um, and no matter what way you look at it, it's always upside down. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So the table just keeps spinning. Like, keep this fucking thing still. Who's doing oh. a tarot reading on a lazy Susan? It's annoying. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> a tarot reading on a lazy Susan, just like, oh my God. These this cards- card's reversed. Oh no, it isn't. These cards look really great. And then you just send to the person and just <laughs> slowly spin it around. Or oh, maybe it's so fucked. <laughs> I'm going to win at life or perhaps you'll die. It's like mm, another 20 quid says I don't spin the lazy <laughs> <laughs> oh, That is a money-making scheme. Or if it's one of those like automatic ones that just like turns on its own and the person's just like, yay. Oh, yay. Oh, <laughs> oh where's just shuffling around the table. Move. <laughs> Even where it's like you're trying to do a tarot reading and it's just like on one of those pottery wheels and you're just like... <laughs> Pressing away on the oh pedal, spinning fortunes, telling lies. Anyway, <laughs> is so funny? I don't know. Oh. I think it's something to do with the pedal movement. Oh, I don't know. Get the book out there. That's great. Oh, <laughs> glorious. Uh, uh, so anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, podcast. So, yeah, podcast. Remember what we're here for, uh, bitch. So, funnily enough that you should mention that you uh, mm. made everything that you're wearing. Yes, I did. You are indeed wearing your... It's like... Schmivy and cleft wood, sort yeah. of, of like peep, a little bit Pete Burns, and she's a little bit sort of Moulin Rouge in the tear. Yeah. Like, like if Cruella de Vil was, wasn't played by Emma Stone. Mm, you're yeah. sort of, I don't know. I, I, in fact, I know what it is. It's the shoulders in the hair that's giving me like cowboy uh, film, like like Western saloon oh, yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah. And the tits. Uh, yeah, oh, and the brass, obviously. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah. like, that plunging line with those shoulders and that hair, it's very much like you're going to start dancing on the bar any minute and then probably mm-hmm. shoot me with a pistol you pulled out of your asshole. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. One eye flickers. She pulled a pistol from, from her knickers. Yeah. <laughs> it me. It you. I pulled a pistol from my knickers. But it's fitting that you made everything that you uh, assembled today uh-huh. um, and that I tried this hard because what are we going to talk about, Marilyn? What's the today? On? The dolls will be discussing. Fashion! Fashion! <laughs> Bring it to the runway! Runway! Run, 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 run away! Which, yeah. is, which is great because with me, fashion is sort of like pornography. Like, I can't define it, but I know it when I see it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you've got about... 65 to 70 percent more authority to speak on this um topic but hey i'm just coming along for the ride it's an (laughs) art form it's personal everyone's fashion can be different but Mm. not everyone's can be as good as mine (laughs) (laughs) but that's the thing though like my first question for you because i i haven't looked up the definition of fashion, oh God. of fashion, or done any, is there one? Or done any preparation for? Can this. you imagine if you do a fashion course and they're like the definition of fashion, <laughs> like fashion one hundred and one? Like on the first day, they probably just teach you how to spell it because that's a tricky word. Fashion, fashion, F A S H U N, fashion, fashion. Yeah, but my first hmm. question. I mean, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna. The gloves are coming off. I'm gonna look up the oh. definition. Would well, you I- say? Because it's like all fashion is clothes, but not all clothes are fashion. Discuss. <laughs> is all fashion clothes? Um, Would you not count tattoos, body art, piercing? That's all fashion. Do you think that's fashion? Though? Because I immediately associate fashion with like design, with clothes, with like wearable mm, art. I suppose. You know, like, that's what I mean. I, I, when I think fashion, I think adorning your body, adorning mm. your body to, uh, to give off a certain vibe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and that, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe that's why I've never got tattoos or piercings because, well, I've got my ears pierced, but apart from that, I've never really made like a commitment because mm. I changed my, I changed my mind too much. I mean, and, that, I do remember that that was something that uh, my mother said to me when I started getting like, 
not after I got the first few because she was sort of like, oh, okay, yeah, this is fine. But then when it started to get a little bit more progressive and I was getting a tattoo just like more and more and more until eventually I had a, you know, a sleeve and whatever. Yeah. Um, she was just like, well, tastes change. I mean, just think of how you used to dress when you were like 13, 14. You don't dress that way now. And at the time I was sort of just dressing in like jeans and t-shirts with some mm. kind of like stupid whatever on it. Well, who's laughing now, bitch? I dress exactly the same way that I did when I was 13, 14. <laughs> I mean, I did this whole look while listening to My Chemical Romance. And yeah. Shows. yeah, like yeah. full circle. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like <laughs> here we are 20 years later, all in black with a purple lip. Like, remember yeah. this look, dad? Fight me. Oh, uh, but I've maybe looked, it's a phase. Maybe it's not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's clinical depression. <laughs> but I've just looked it up. Um, so fashion is a popular or the latest style of clothing, hair, decoration or behavior. See, I would think that is a trend. Mm, but then it says like similar, uh, not not similar, sorry. <laughs> Alternate meaning is just um, to make into a particular form. So the bottles. Oh, were, to fashion something out. The of bottles something. were fashioned from green glass. So it's like, what did you fashion your outfit of? Isn't that interesting? Or do I just find it interesting because no. of like wordplay and semantics and? I mean, sure. Whatever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I think fashion is very something very personal, and I think it can mean different things to different people. So to say that like, this is this is fashion is kind. Of, it's it's subjective. Mm -hmm. But I do. See, I see what you mean because it's like certain things are a trend. Like when um, you know the apple bottom jeans, the boots with the fur. Like that's mm, a, the whole club's looking at her. Exactly. That was a trend rather than fashion. Or yeah. What, was that the fashion at the time? Because like 90s fashion, walking down the catwalk in like a full denim fantasy and then your partner, and I'm of course referring to JT and Britney Spears. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matching denim, like full tipped tain outfits. I feel like that was ridiculous at the time though. Well, that, but then at was, the that, was at, that fashion at the time? At the time that was 90s fashion, but technically it was all made out of stuff that you just like could have got out of a shop, really. Yeah. If you, if you went to a certain like designer. Or a charity shop. Um, I, I just like, was that fashion or was that poking fun at fashion? The 90s was a dark time. Yeah. <laughs> because... Uh, I love 80s and 90s fashion. Like, I'm not going to lie. I think it's absolutely fabulous. And I've been getting kind of into, like, 70s fashion recently, obviously, with my Abigail's Party Goes to Torture Garden vibes. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But the 80s was really, like... I think it, it, people take the piss, but I think it was so explorative and so, oh, like, absolutely. liberating. And people... And really... the eight... You go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go. You go, go. Okay. The 80s fascinates me as well because it was pre-stretch fabric. That's what you have to remember when you're looking at these silhouettes and these yes. like these garments. They were mm -hmm. so much more difficult to make. Mm -hmm. And that's why the the fact that it was so explorative is amazing to me because it was before like you could just wrap a tube around yourself and call it done. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. elastic has made a lot of people very lazy. Mm -hmm. And like the fact that it was all like the the fit was important. There were mm -hmm. people. There were people um, getting into their jeans. <laughs> there were people. The, there were people. <laughs> there were human people getting into their jeans in the bathtub and pulling them up with pliers because they wanted skin tight jeans, but elastic didn't exist. Mm -hmm. So the water would make them have a bit more give to them. You'd put them on in the bath, pull and the then, zip up with pliers, and then, and then they would shrink onto you, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or like. My um, one of my friends used to have a pair that she'd cut the um, side of the legs and get her sister to sew them into them every time they went out. Holy shit! That is commitment. Wow, we that's yeah. nuts, right? That's actually insane. But yeah. inspired because I have done the same thing, like on many an occasion. I've sewn myself into whatever it is that oh, I'm, yeah. I'm wearing. Like whether is it's that a, for drag or like just whether it's. Day. No, no, no. Like only if it's for like a look, like an art hall Tuesday yeah. or like for drag or something. Yeah. I'm I'm a very big fan and I don't want to sound like Serena Chacha of like season oh. five of Drag Race. Soft sculpture. Soft sculpture. But assembling stuff on myself, I find that easier. Oh, it's it's fun. A lot of the time and more enjoyable and less oh. stressful than like whacking out the sewing machine and going all like Coronation Street knickers factory about it. Yeah. You know what I 
struggle with, especially dressing as a boy. Mm -hmm. um, because I like to see one like iconic piece or like one like really out there piece. So I'll buy this, all of that stuff. And before you know it, all of my things are like chicka pow. <laughs> and you can't combine them. Like, do you know what I mean? You can't have a, a whole body of statement pieces. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. You've got just like, everything is a statement piece and now everything's just arguing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what are you wearing? We're in a fight. Ugh. Yeah, fucking I mean, nightmare. I do think that in drag, it's interesting because like, uh, wh when does fashion become costume and how do you yeah. make a costume fashion? Like, I find oh. that, I find that like a really entertaining um, like juxtaposition because a lot of the time that people are just like, oh, that's a costume, or oh, no, you've made it fashion or whatever. That's quite like a hot argument for me, um, within I feel drag. Like, and I'm yeah. just like fucking eating popcorn, just like yeah, lapping yeah. it up. Because I oh yeah, because I think at the end of the day, it, it's just, it, it's clothes, it's a look, it's an outfit, it's an appearance. Yeah. Who gives a fuck why are you trying to categorize it as fashion or costume? As, long as, it, as long as it looks good, who hmm. cares? It's my personal opinion. And I know that it's my personal opinion and my take on drag. This is why I would never dare critique anyone for looking like too fashion or something like that. But mm. for me, drag should be something of a costume. You shouldn't be able to get in drag and nip to the shops in the same outfit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Speak like, for give yourself. Me a shot. I'm going to go and get a pot noodle after. <laughs> <laughs> well, that for me anyway. That's just my approach. No, 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 I know no, there's no, lots no. of different it's approaches. Fine. Like when you when I see girls dressed like a Kardashian, I'm like, okay. Yeah. And they do it gorgeously. Like, mm -hmm. I could never do that. I'm too old. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't find it as, like, chicka pow. Yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, exactly. It doesn't wow me, but then it might not be for me. It's yeah. interesting though because it, it kind of like seems to um, like come in waves, isn't it? Because I'm sure that we've mentioned this before and I know that we shouldn't use this as the benchmark, but it is a very interesting example. If you look at uh, the first series of Drag Race, when yeah. they all walked in and most of them just looked like they were going to lunch, they could work mm -hmm. at the mall. Mm -hmm. it, it, like it was not, it's now what people would refer to as pedestrian, but at the yeah. time you were just like, oh, this is drag. <laughs> And it might not be what they would perform in, in the club because maybe they were just trying to yeah. serve realness. They were trying to serve like casting. You don't know what the brief was that they were given. Yeah, it was it was walking in drag like. Mm -hmm. But pro progressively as it's gone on, it, obviously yeah. now everyone's like, you need to walk in looking like as big as I'll get out. And then when someone like Tia Coffee comes in just wearing like, this is what I would perform in and it's yeah. drag and it looks great. Everyone's like, no, that's not enough because you haven't like gone all the way out. So the bar that's been kind of like moved, I find that very frustrating because punk rock, messy, like scatty, horrible drag, like Christine's pillowcase and whatever. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that aesthetic is fashion. Fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We talk about Christine on this podcast. Oh, I fucking love it though. <laughs> I'm just eating wig for lunch, by the way. I don't that's why I keep doing this. That's fine, baby. Don't worry. Keep yeah. on keeping on. <laughs> I think, well, for me, Christine is anti fashion. Mm. Like, she's coming out from completely the opposite end of the spectrum mm -hmm. and like shoving it down your throat. And that's what I love about it. She's, and I think it depends on what you're trying to do as well. Like, mm. I'm not trying to be a fashion girl. I'm just trying to, for me, I'd rather be iconic than fashionable. Ooh, that's a nice statement. You I know like what I mean? That. Mm -hmm. That's what you should get tattooed on your breast. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I want statement. I want something that can exist. Like this, for instance. This outfit mm -hmm. is a wonderful example because it could exist in a comic book. Mm -hmm. um, could also potentially, like, the shapes of it could exist in different eras. It's 80s does 40s, maybe. 80s does 50s. Mm -hmm. So that kind of, like, cut shape. That the, It's very, like, what am I trying to say? Like, oh, tailored. It's, all, mm. it's almost mm -hmm. tailored. Yeah, like, yeah. We've got the shoulder pads. We've got the stuff. We've got um, colour coordination. We've got red and black. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's, like, my take on it today was very iconography over trends mm -hmm. and i don't i like to pick stuff from history and pick stuff from movies and pick stuff from um comic books and pick from cartoons and stuff like that that makes me excited mm -hmm. rather than what i think is fashion yeah um, and also 
And also a lot of the time it's also, okay, yeah, I think Nick's walking around upstairs. <laughs> God! <laughs> <laughs> Not you again! And then I look at myself and I'm just like, I'm good to die in this outfit. Like, I really don't want like a bitch in this. But also, um, I guess the other thing is about like fashion is it's also um, got that intersectionality of where it also has to meet like styling. Because if you, yeah. wore, if you wore that outfit um, with like that blunt bob sharp wig, You'd be serving something it's a different. Person. You'd be serving something completely different. Exactly, it would like take away a lot of the aspects and like switch it up. And that's mm. what's always really exciting is like how you style things as well as you're like fashioning them. Absolutely. But uh, enough rambling on about like our okay. loose definition of it. I want to ask you. I want to ask you some like other exciting questions. Too. I have questions for you. Yay! Okay, my question for you is: um, When was the first time that you saw something that I guess you would consider fashion that absolutely like blew your mind? When you were just like, "Oh my god, I didn't know that things could look like that." Ooh! And when you're when you're like a little faggy kid and you're just like. I'm so obsessed with the way that like people are dressed in this. That's incredible. Do you know what I mean? So mine's mine's really shit. Oh, go like, on. It's super shit. So like growing up, I'd always look at like women in like the X-Men and mm. like um, Catwoman from mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. like not Halle Berry. Um, mm. <laughs> just Michelle Pfeiffer, not Halle Berry. Um, and like you, that kind of you, stuff. You don't have to qualify or clarify yeah. with me. I know exactly <laughs> which yeah, Catwoman yeah. we're talking about. So then all of all of the people I looked at and went like, that's fashion, that's mm -hmm. stunning, that's iconic, like, mm -hmm. were women. And so I wasn't really worried about what I put on myself. Mm -hmm. And that it, I found fashion really like, it was a disconnect for me because I saw fashion as a feminine thing and was like, they look amazing, I want to dress them or like, I want to play with that. Um, and then the first time as a boy, that I started doing it. I, I know that I latched on to colour coordinating at about 12, 13. So I'd be mm. like, I have a red shoe and a red top. Oh my God, I'm wearing fashion today. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Did you like, think you were doing catwalk? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who <laughs> is she? Turning looks? Ah, yeah. And then, but I remember, and this this is where I get shit, I remember I watched, I watched The Devil Wears Prada and I was like, oh, this is fashion. Oh, okay. That was the first time I went, it's not just colour coordination. Like there's, there's, there's other stuff involved. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the first like, thing I saw and was like, fashion can be quite exciting, can't it? Wow. And, like, it was an accessible movie for a young gay kid mm -hmm. to go like, oh, fashion. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was the first time I looked at it on real people. Sorry, I'm rambling. That was the first time I saw it like on real people, not like superheroes, and was like, oh, you can look powerful in the way you dress. Mm -hmm. Continue well, on. Well, mine's um, also like a film. <laughs> and it was the first time that I saw uh, The Fifth Element where all of the oh, costuming yeah. was done by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Oh, fuck yeah. And like, because it's sort of, everyone was wearing stuff that looked like futuristic and cyber, but also like mm -hmm. practical. But then at the same time, you had like the juge moments where fucking um, Diva Pava Laguna came out in that like, blue latex thing where you were like is it skin or is it clothes is with, it everything yes yeah with all the like cabling and wiring and yeah. the big, like plate shoulder chest thing and i just <laughs> i just thought it was so exciting right down to like lulu dallas's just like little oh. ch chunky rubber yeah a little chunky orange like harness thing but even like the, the initial that was when, fashion when they put the bandages over and she's just in this like little mm. what is it like leotard but it's got fashion exactly yeah and also bruce willis in that film uh, like ru ruined my entire life and i'm not a massive bruce willis fan but there's something about him in the film yeah. that like it's pull the patch o'clock anyway. choke me daddy yeah absolutely. yeah exactly like in the, in the sixth sense i'm not into it but in fifth yeah. element like i'm there fifth element like <laughs> uh, I'm, i want to take that white tank top and bring it out into my mouth <laughs> um <laughs> that's it that that's the tweet <laughs> yeah. i also remember um because obviously i touched on like the batman movies and like that that villainous like powerful dressing mm. and i remember being obsessed with that and then i saw thierry mugler and like the mm. mugler woman and i was like 
it's everything I want it to be. <laughs> like, ah, that unattainable level of like angles and like, mm. and that's why, that's why I gravitate towards like costume and iconic pieces and stuff like that. Rather because you than, can, like, I think you can have more fun with it because yeah. you, you can do like something structured and left field and like crazy. That's got like asymmetry to it or something's more exaggerated or whatever. Mm. Like that's, the fun part absolutely like what what do they do in h&m like you get a jean but it's got a cuff like a tracksuit bottom like fuck off. <laughs> the gravity that comes with a good pair of jeans and a white t-shirt also true mm. because it's just got that i don't know like I don't if know, you, it's classic it's sharp it's well if you done. roll up your sleeves and yeah. put your filterless cigarettes in there then you oh. can fuck me in the back of your cadillac yeah <laughs> absolutely you can um what was i going to say what was i going to yeah talking about things that like inspired our uh, mm -hmm. ways of dressing i just made this happen i just had such a flashback um obviously it's the buffy podcast once again oh fuck yes buffy messed Be me up a lot being like 12 13 uh and seeing oz and being like yeah painted fingernails oversized t-shirts like with baggy jeans spiky hair that's mm -hmm. <laughs> sort of like shitty punk look where you're yeah. like trying but not really on my off days from being a goth that was something that i gravitated towards was like that kind of like grungy aesthetic and also yeah i guess like i listened to nevada and stuff yeah. like so i could pretend that it was because of that it fucking wasn't yeah. it was us from buffy so <laughs> i had a similar experience so buffy i remember at the same time as buffy was out i was like i want that was like boot cut jeans but i want them like tight at the top and then boot cut at the bottom so mm -hmm. like it looks cool when i'm kicking vampires and then um you, you know what i mean and then um i had this i had this one top that i wore to death when i was a kid because yeah. it was like it was like dark red um had a lower cut than all my other tops mm -hmm. and felt kind of like blousey mm -hmm. like it felt more femme and i was like yeah. fuck yeah so all that and like my tight jeans and some boots and i was like Ugh! um and then at the same time as that i know i know that you possibly might not be able to relate to this but my chemical romance like ah uh, ah uh, because that level of like again it was for me it was that level of like comic book iconography that mm. they injected a lot into their theatrical performance and i was like fuck yes like that really fed into my whole like I think that's like all of these media influences and being so addicted to that, like power through dressing is why I do drag. Yeah. And yeah. Oh God. Absolutely. And, and, just, and attention. And it's attention. It's artistic expression. Um, and yeah, like the, the feeling of the kind of like, the, the, not the change that sounds like menopause or something but you know the, the trans change leave her alone the transformation there we go yeah. like, that's the word that i'm looking for like yeah. just the um the absolute thrill the goal like, the gumption. Ms. cracker said it the gumption the nerve the audacity the goal um miss cracker said it where she was saying that like i could step out my door out of drag um and then step out my door in drag and be treated completely differently. Mm -hmm. But nothing about me has changed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's peacocking. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's mm -hmm. all it is. We're just a couple of peacocks. I would say mm -hmm. pea hens, but obviously, like they look, yeah, a, nah. they look a little bit dull. Bless absolutely them. Um, I have a question. Oh, I was, I was going to say there was something else I was going to ask you, but I can't remember what it is. So I'm glad that you've got a question. Okay. Just like right. 30 seconds of dead air whilst I'm like, <laughs> wait, no, I had a thing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you go. So, Lovely. If there was one piece or piece of fashion that you could outlaw, ban, shot on sight, if you saw someone wearing this one thing, what would it be? If you could remove from human existence. Oh, I know. my God. Um, Come on, Mama. See, I... There's a lot of things. Give me that, that queer rage. There's a lot of things that I personally do not like, uh -huh. but it's th there's no just cause for me to want to like take it away from someone else. Like, yeah, there is. Like Uggs and Crocs, I think. <laughs> absolutely. There disgusting. it is. There we go. Absolutely. Come on. Just release the beast. I'd rather wear a fucking glitter jelly shoe <laughs> than a Ugg or a Croc. I think that's Crocs. Absolutely disgusting. There were crocs on the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race and everyone thought it was hilarious. And I was just sat there like... Yeah. Not only were there crocs, but there was also no glove and no nail. 
so that that you know that's that's kind of like yeah. one of my pet peeves in yeah. drag is it's like do something with your hands like make it a full body experience yeah 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 exactly like make it just extend make it shoot out your fingertips like magic a little yeah. bit as well yeah, yeah especially yeah. if you're gonna wear crocs but but it's like um scarlet um crabs where mm -hmm. absolutely loves it and, and get like obviously get slaves to worship the crocs so it's like a whole yes, other please. level of that um and to be honest i can't think of anything more humiliating than being made to worship a croc <laughs> so I, so in actual fact i think that that's a really good angle yeah yeah i like, wouldn't i wouldn't just be humiliated i'd be suicidal if yeah. you made me worship and i mean like crop. i get the joke and i get the irony but also i'm like it's a oh. there's other ways to be funny than, if you're we're, not than wearing, wearing chef, an ugly shoe like, why are you wearing a croc it, uh, do you know what I mean? If you're not pregnant yeah. with swollen ankles, like sh shuffling around the house trying to get comfortable, why do you need to wear a croc? Get it's like bin, Stephanie. It's like I couldn't even, even when Jenna Marbles like hydro dipped a croc, I was just like, I get that no. this is amusing for you and that you will wear them because yeah. you like Crocs. I love you forever, but I'm going to remove this from my mind. Yeah, exactly. Um, and as for Uggs, I just think... I just think they're stupid. And you see the sideways slide on the bottom of, like they've been worn to death and then they start getting like that weird like penguin foot. Yeah. Also, what is the point in wearing um, any kind of like, what is the point of wearing a boot that's not that absorbent? It's like inviting moisture. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because like your feet will get too hot, but also if it's raining outside, basically you'll be sweaty on the inside and soaked through on the outside. Like what, yeah. dis what disgusting exp and also enjoy trench foot. And right. also that color, like the original color of the UG, like, who, it, it, do you know what I mean? Like do you remember who, the, who, who, who are we trying to be here? Teddy Ruxpin? Like what is that the, color? Like, the raw girls who would wear like a Jack Will shirt that's belted. Um, some leggings, some Uggs. The mm. shirt would probably be blue and white. Um, foundation on their lips and just like 10 layers of um, oh, yeah. mascara. And, that oh. was, and then just a messy bun. That was also, a look. Also, With a braided belt. <laughs> all, oh yeah, braided belts can fuck off. Yeah, get 100%. To yeah, fuck. get to fuck with a braided belt. But... Get a belt. <laughs> buy a belt. Calm down. <laughs> The other thing that I was just thinking of, though, going to festivals, um, going to any kind of festival and seeing um, the, I mean, I, I don't want to like profile, but it's usually uh, females, like female presenting people, mm -hmm. um, Hunter Wellies. Oh, so they, co wellie. they cost like 130 fucking quid and it's yeah. a welly. Mm. And also a lot of the time they've got the like cut off short ones. So if you're wearing them to a festival and it rains like you expect it to rain at a British festival, yep. what what's that going to do? Again, enjoy transfer. Literally, the mud's going to seep up and over the top. So yeah. yeah, like, well done. You spent 130 quid, Becky, to get what I'm wearing shorter yeah. with yeah. the word hunter written across the front. Here's the thing as well. Hunter well done. Wellies. <laughs> hunter wellies. And it's the same with barber jackets as well. There's that middle class overstretch mm. that they're trying to appear wealthy and therefore buying these name brands that they think like the royalty and the upper crusty people wear when they're stepping out of their Range Rovers. But the reality is that Hunter Welly's barber jackets and Range Rovers are now just seen as chavy. Yeah. Like, you've just, you've just watered them down to the point where it's not good anymore. And like, like too many people are wearing them. And like also Bur like Burberry. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. Because that was seen as like high class. And then it became the more like, people wear it, the less exclusive. And like, yeah. 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 Um, but then that's another fashion problem. Mm -hmm. Names over looks. Like, I don't care yeah. that your jacket has a particular name on it. Does it look good? Bitch, this is. I, I this can get is... the same thing from eBay for like yeah. ten pounds, and it'll last as long, and it'll that's look it. as good. Do you know what I, I don't, mean? I don't care. Mm -hmm. I can pay the bottom of my heels red. Yeah. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I mean... get. I get quality. I understand wanting to pay for quality. Mm -hmm. But if you're paying for a label, who mm. gives a shit? It's also the, something which we probably should not even try and get into today is also like fashion and ethics, because obviously oh, there's yeah. fast fashion, which is terrible for the planet. And obviously mm -hmm. like the way that the staff are treated that are actually mass producing these things is yeah. absolutely awful. That is a conversation for that's another day. That's a conversation day. for another <laughs> time. That's, that, that's morality and ethics. Morality and ethics of fashion is just like, yeah. Mama, let's not look at that. Let's just talk yeah. about aesthetics and styling as much yeah. as possible. But you are absolutely right. There is a whole um, 
superiority oh, and seniority thing that goes on in fashion which i yeah. personally think is absolutely ridiculous like i remember being at school when like the trends and the fashions would kind of like come through and yeah. you would just kind of wonder like was there any reason to get that stressed out about making your parents in hindsight spend money on something that essentially yeah. was only going to be good for about six months yeah absolutely plus at that what are people age, doing with all the jack wills gilets now like did you make a blanket what what Plus, at that age, that was like, you know, Sunday sewing sessions with my mum is like, let's cut up the side of oh, these jeans cool. and insert different, like, triangles of fabric to make them bigger and also, like, have different designs of them. So, at that point, That's I was... cool. I was fucked at that point. I wasn't yeah. ready to play the, like, oh, I need to get... What were they called? Poppers? Not, like, poppers, but, like, you know, the... I had a... The trackies yeah. that popped open? I yeah. had a pair of those, but they were from Turkey, and they said, like, Adidas, but it was spelt wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sadidas. Yeah, Sadidas. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I felt like a stripper. Mm. Um here's here's back to the original question. Because um, oh, yeah. you you went for Crocs. I'm gonna say like a slider is a house shoe. It's a house slipper. A slider is a house slipper, sir. If you're wearing sliders and socks, you're wearing sandals and socks. What are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> so many... Why are you spending money on that? Like fucking supreme sliders that cost like hundreds of pounds. And you're like, what is a slider? It's a house slipper. Yeah. What are you doing? Ah, fucking Be infuriates me. Before we put the cameras on, you know for a full fact that right now I'm obviously sat here in my house shoe. Yeah, because it's a house which, shoe. Which is a three pound flip flop from Georgia Asda. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. It does the exact same thing as a slider. I can put it on to get to the garage. I can walk around the kitchen without understand. getting my feet cold on the tiles. Yeah, that's and that's what it's for. for. <laughs> if you do, if you step any further than taking the bin out in them, you deserve to be shot on sight. I don't shot care. <laughs> I don't care. Or if you're like by the pool, fair enough. Mm. Or any other time or trying not to get a veruca at the gym yeah sure why not like I it's would, a house slipper i would get a grip i would almost i will also accept going to the corner shop hungover mm, i'll judge you but you'll know but you know you're being judged yeah yeah, yeah exactly going yeah. to the corner shop it like if it's you know like a five minute walk from you i do it to every every it's always <laughs> It's always straight men named Kyle. Like I just look at them in their in their joggers and their sliders and white socks. Like why? Also, the white socks and like there was a while when straight men just started wearing like top man stuff, denim shorts that were too short, white socks and like all stars. And I was like, why are straight men dressing like gay porn actors? I don't <laughs> understand that crossover. Do you know what I mean? It. Why is that the trend? It so makes me think of, um, I can't remember what it is. It's something that Trixie and Catcher do where um, the guy, it, he sat there with like frosted tips and the puka shell necklace. Have you ever done this? Done this? <laughs> Have you ever done this before? And they're like, fucking never. <laughs> fucking never. Yeah. And it's, Why do, there's a, a thing where like it trickles down. How, but which begat which? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. was it... Was it people in gay porn trying to dress as straight that made them wear like a puka shell nexus and frosted tips because they were like, Justin Timberlake did it once. No, see, <laughs> I think, I or think like, if, if, gay, surfer, if gay men in The in surfer porn, boy thing, I suppose, from mm, like, you know. If gay men in porn try to dress straight, they yeah. dress like shit. Like they'll wear <laughs> overalls, cover themselves in paint, like roll around in the dirt then then be like look i'm straight whereas that's, that's not even necessarily straight that's like a character that's character yeah. acting isn't it <laughs> as a straight man oh yeah, I have yeah, no yeah respect for you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna gratify you straight man sorry um <laughs> i wouldn't have one in my house i don't trust him um so yeah i i think it's definitely something that like trickled down mm. because do you remember when gays were seen as fashionable yeah yeah yeah, yeah. still kind of happens I mean, so it's very much like, um, I don't know, it's it's all very like chicken and egg, isn't it, really? Because there's always that argument about um, what ends up in the runway has been usually stolen yeah. from, um, you know. So, Another culture. Me, so, yeah, so, someone's like gone to visit a certain place and been like, oh, they dress like that. <laughs> I'll and take then, it. I'll take it all, like repurpose it and, you know, all of a sudden it's like fashion or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like... Um, it, I love it when there's like an inspiration, like um, what was the name of that show? 
presented by Tan France on Netflix. Oh, God. Was it called Next in Fashion? Yes, that was really good. And I loved it when there was like inspiration. If you haven't watched it, binge it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Inspiration without plagiarism in fashion is like magnificent and fantastic the, those final two runways and in case anyone like no spoilers for the people at home but the final two runways between the top two where they drew their inspirations from and like what they turned it into was just yeah. absolutely sensational like gorgeous you would never have known no. like that that's where it was coming from but they'd said that that's what they were doing and i, mm-hmm. I think i think that that's really exciting mm-hmm. whereas when it's just like yeah a straight up rip off yeah i don't know I went to Japan, so now everyone's in kimonos. Like, yeah. <laughs> all right. Great. Um, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> but it would appear that I've finished my drink, and I have no okay. idea how long we've been discussing fashion for. Like, Yeah, we should probably read it in, because we should... I'm very angry now. <laughs> it was... <laughs> this it is w- the problem. We could talk about something. I'll start out really passionate, and then I'll just get mad. <laughs> I did see that it was slowly descending into Marilyn Rags on straight again. <laughs> Oh, Grandma, Uh, we still talking about fashion. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, sorry. Sorry, straights. Oh, that was fun, though. Like, because I go into these conversations just feeling like imposter syndrome, like the fraud police are going to come and arrest me. But like, I know stuff sometimes. Yeah, you do. I have opinions about things I have no right to. (laughs) Yeah, but like, that's what this podcast is. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It's us dressed as women talking about bullshit. I do remember, and I will end it on this note, that there was that tweet that everyone was sharing as like a screenshot on Instagram and stuff. And it was just like, I've already been trapped at a house party by two guys on coke talking about stuff that I have no interest in. So no, I don't want to listen to your podcast. (laughs) (laughs) And you know, that's all folks. And you know, you just think, wow, got my fucking number out here. (laughs) No, but um, to everyone... To everyone that's made it to the end, as always, thank you so much for joining us here on the uh, Unnamed Hot Dog Flask. Don't forget to comment below with your fashion tips, tricks, and terrible ideas. Oh, my God. And Let us know what you hate. If you'd like to slide into our DMs with some of your terrible fashion blunders of the past, then, like, please do let us know. Um, If there's any, like, topics or things that you would like us to discuss in the future, then you are also welcome to make these suggestions. It doesn't mean that we'll do it, but it's nice to be interactive sometimes. (laughs) We like to hear from you. Sort of, a little bit, but not really. (laughs) Anything else to add about fashion or life or the mystery of styling and aesthetics before we go, Marilyn? Um, everything is false. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Life's a gamble. Everything is weird. And yeah, t- nothing's real. Don't don't stress out. Oh, uh, until next time, you pieces of shit. No, not really, Illy. <laughs> <laughs> stay safe and stay sexy, and we'll see you all really soon. Bye. 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 That is fashion. Fashion. <laughs> <laughs>